So first of all, with Ayrton, um, I was very lucky when I was a young test driver to work with Nigel Mansell, Alain Prost and Ayrton Senna, three of the, the great world champions of that era. And there's no question that Ayrton was more than a Grand Prix driver. You know, he had presence that I never experienced um, in anyone before. You know, if you would enter a room, slowly the room would fall silent. You know, he was a pretty special guy. So um, in terms of being promoted from uh, test driver to race driver, there was no way I could replace him. He was irreplaceable, but all I could do in his, his honor was give 100%. So throughout my career, I always gave the best that I could and uh, it didn't always work out. Um, but uh, that that was, you know, my tipping of my cap to, to his legacy. Uh, in terms of Ert, uh, in terms of Adrian, um, yeah, I've worked with him my, my entire career, and uh, he has played a huge part in the development of Red Bull Racing. Um, I think the fact that he stayed with the team longer than he stayed with any other team is testament to the family, the environment. You know, the leadership under Mr. Marischitz was was one about. Um, you know, creating creating opportunity and empowering you to get on and do the job. So in many ways, I guess it's inevitable in the same way that a sports person's career doesn't last forever. Then in the case of Adrian, he's seeking a new challenge. Um, I'll wager that he won't spend 17 years with Aston Martin <laughs> uh, at his, his age. I actually was rather hoping he would get on his sailboats and, and, and go and enjoy uh, all the spoils of his success. But clearly he's still motivated to, to keep designing. And um, you know, Red Bull will will have a good team of people that are in place, of course, that were part of his design squad to to see if they can continue to compete at the highest level.